there are many types of uh, bone bone graphs that we can use to um, uh, to cover up uh, in the defect within the oral cavity. We can use the the gold standard. Well, of course, will be the patient's own bone. Okay, so the patient's own bone. Okay, the patient's own bone is the best because it has all the viable osteocytes and osteoblasts in them and they will uh, naturally rebuild immediately after placement of the bone. The second best uh, component would be uh, something that uh, is taken from, an, from other, an, another individual, okay? a bone that can uh, be taken from uh, Cadaver. But however, that bone has some limitation in terms of uh, quality and quantity. So how much can you harvest from a cadaver and uh, uh, how much quality as well, and which part of the, the body is the cadaveric bone coming from. <coughs> and also there is a, an ethical um, issue of harvesting cadaveric bone, as uh, so most people find the idea a little bit uh, out in the sense that it comes from uh, another individual. Okay? There is also uh, a risk of prion. A prion is basically like, a, like a, a virus. We don't really know much about prions but there is always a risk of prion uh, <coughs> being brought into uh, from cadaveric bone. The other issue of uh, cadaveric bone is that there is always a danger of rejection. If the body will find that this is something of a foreign body that has come into uh, the, the alveolus. And therefore the, the, the chance of it rejecting is significant. Okay? Um, the second thing that we can uh, look into is a bone that comes from uh, another another being here, yeah? uh, we call this xenograph. Uh, xenograph are basically um, uh, bone that comes from another animal or another entity. Okay, uh, so uh, one of the ways of do, doing the most probably uh, common, common bone that we harvest is the bovine bone. Uh, also some porcine bone as well. And both have uh, had uh, its popularity, uh, it, it's very popular. In fact, today, in, in the world today, uh, the xenograph, the bovine and the porcine bone is the, the, the bone of choice for, by many in doctors in, uh, in, the, in getting uh, uh, graft into the, the alveolus of the patient. Okay, but then again, there is that uh, ethical um, issues, such as people who have uh, believed of uh, not having animal bones in, uh, in, in their being, so they would not uh, want to have that, uh, uh, both bovine and porcine. Okay? Uh, um, then there is the bone that we get from uh, synthetic or non-animal uh, non uh, sources, such as um, uh, from uh, coral, okay? These are the HA, okay, the hydroxyapatite grafts, which are harvested from either coral, from limestone, uh, and, and a lot. Okay, so we can have hydroxyapatite uh, being produced. The, the the good thing about this is that the HA that we, we take out have no prions. They are not from animals, so they don't have the the, the accessory. The, uh, protein that comes with these uh, with these uh, minerals. Okay, so in terms of uh, rejection, I believe there is less rejection of the HA from uh, both limestone and from coral. HA is a form of synthetic bone. HA stands for hydroxyapatite. Um, I regularly use HA in uh, augmentation of the uh, defect area of the alveolus.
Avila Bongrafa indicated when you uh, are, you've taken out teeth and you want to preserve the, the width and the breadth of the socket. And it's also uh, needed when you are placing implants uh, where you want to, uh, to prop up the bone where there is an exposure of the surface of the uh, implant. Okay, the advantage of HA is that it is a uh, component of bone uh, in, in its natural form, but it can also be synthesized. And therefore, when it's a synthetic hydroxyapatite, it does not have any other complex protein in it. And when you put in pure HA, you don't have the issue of uh, rejection from uh, the body, because there are no other complex protein uh, around the hydroxyapatite. And this is, uh, is uh, like a scaffolding in which uh, no, normal natural bone will uh, then grow between the hydroxyapatite. In time, the hydroxyapatite will be resolved and you will have new bone forming.